Neurology quiz number 18. What are the peripheral nerve hyperexcitability syndromes? These are as follows. Cramp fasciculation syndrome, characterized by myalgias and cramps without weakness. Examination reveals fasciculations and myokymia. EMG shows myokymia and fasciculations, but is otherwise normal. Voltage-gated potassium channel complex antibodies are rare, but they may occur in some cases. Patients respond to carbamazepine 200 to 400 milligrams two to three times a day. Isaac's syndrome causes generalized muscle stiffness and slowness, and in severe cases, muscles and posture become rigid. When bulbar muscles are involved, dysphagia and dysarthria occur. Signs of dysautonomia include hyperhidrosis, sialuria, tachycardia, and patients may have neuropathic pain. Examination reveals myokymia, fasciculations, and muscle hypertrophy. Needle EMG reveals myokymia, fasciculations, and neuromyotonic discharges. The condition is, is associated with voltage-gated potassium channel complex antibodies, LGI1 or CASPER2. Morvan's syndrome has features similar to Isaac's syndrome, but in addition, there is associated encephalopathy with hallucinations, memory loss, and confusion. It is also associated with voltage-gated potassium channel complex antibodies, and EMG findings are similar to Isaac's syndrome. 20 to 30 percent of cases may be associated with thymoma. Symptomatic treatment in Isaacs and Morvan's syndrome is with carbamazepine or dilantin. In addition, patients require immunomodulatory treatment like IVIG, plasma exchange, or corticosteroids. What are the neurological manifestations of copper deficiency? Copper is an important cofactor for key enzymatic pathways critical to the function of the nervous system in bone marrow. It is absorbed in the stomach in duodenum. Most common cause of deficiency is inadequate absorption. This is usually due to gastric bypass surgery for obesity, but other causes include celiac disease and inflammatory bowel disease. Inadequate intake is a less common cause. Excessive zinc in the diet can cause copper deficiency by interfering with its absorption. Sources of zinc include vitamin supplements, cold medications, and dental adhesives. Deficiency causes myelopathy involving the posterior and lateral columns, causing spasticity and a sensory ataxia. Other manifestations include peripheral neuropathy and less commonly optic neuropathy. Hematological abnormalities include anemia, which can be normocytic or macrocytic, neutropenia and thrombocytopenia. Clinical features resemble those of vitamin B12 deficiency. Serum copper, serum ceruloplasmine and urinary copper are low. Zinc levels should be ordered when appropriate. MRI of the spine may show T2 hyperintensities in the posterior column, especially in the cervical and thoracic spine. EMG nerve conduction study may reveal an axonal sensory motor neuropathy. Treatment is with elemental copper, 2 to 4 mg per day, but higher doses may be required. Causes of zinc excess should be corrected when indicated. Hematologic abnormalities usually normalize within a few weeks. Neurological deficits stabilize and can improve but cases with severe deficits may not show significant improvement.